Hi, I'm Dominic St. Pierre from the Live Chat Star Trek Kit. This is the first video of a series on rewriting the Live Chat Star Trek Kit to version 2 using uh, Singular. Yeah, Singular is a big thing uh, at this time and uh, lots of demos. Let's start with creating a new blank uh, MVC4 web app. I will use a simple, uh, ba the, a basic website without tests. It's just a quick way to try to test if uh, Singular will uh, will be good for the live chat starter kit. Let's just install the package, and this will bring uh, the libraries with all the dependencies. I really want to be uh, extremely simple to pin uh, the live chat so we get to a new project this time so it will all uh, probably be in a separate folder this folder will contain the uh, singular hub I will create that uh, right now I have created a lot of code here this is, uh, this is a simple class that inherit in in from a hub from singular so I've created an agent uh, class. This is uh, basically a person who can answer chat uh, requests. Uh, this is probably not the best way to do it. I simply created a properties which uh, can check the cache of the current HTTP request. I've done the same uh, with a dictionary containing a, str a two string. One is the ID of the connection of, uh, of a user, we'll see the, this uh, later, and the other logged in agent. So this is basically a, a map between a visitor and, and the agent. So this is a, m a method that will be called from the, the JavaScript page uh, of an agent. So when an agent uh, sign in, so <laughs> Currently, there is only a name, no password or anything. I'd create a new agent and add this to the properties, which is the HTTP cache. Another, another method is uh, when an agent changes status. This is uh, request chat is called by a visitor to, uh, you know, when a visitor wants to chat with someone, it has to start a, a chat request. So I simply pass the connection ID of the current context. Uh, this is all a uh, single R uh, thing. So this is the connection ID of the user and I pass an empty string since no agent have answered a call yet. You have two, two uh, really nice thing with single R uh, hub. You can call the caller dot some method and this will only call this method for uh, the HTTP request who is currently calling this uh, this method. So in that case, it's the visitor who requests a new chat. So only uh, that that uh, person will see that message. We are fetching our agent, and we call a method on on their page. So this will be uh, this will be called new chat uh, from their JavaScript uh, page. So uh, they can answer the chat request, and after that. Uh, an operator can accept uh, the chat request. Uh, this is kind of almost the same uh, same thing. Another method from Singular, you can. This is a, a dynamic uh, dictionary. You can pass a, an, a a connection ID to that thing, and only that connection ID will will call uh, will call that that. JavaScript uh, JavaScript function. We'll, this will be more clear when when we uh, get to the uh, HTML page. So those two methods only push uh, new uh, new text from from a chat uh, perspective. So since this is not a a chat room, this is a chat from a visitor and and, and an agent. There's there's a couple of things that that check there here. Uh, so when 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 an operator send send a message, uh, only the the uh, the right visitor should see the uh, the message. And this is actually a test. I'm not really sure how to do this. This is basically catch when a visitor disconnect. 
Okay, I've now uh, crafted a the simplest uh, visitor page that you can imagine. And you have to use uh, jQuery and jQuery signal art to uh, enable all that uh, commu communication. And this is just a a way to to get our hub, uh, our chat uh, hub here. So uh, not totally sure what is going on on the background, but I would guess that by requesting that thing, uh, the method that we have here are available to the, the JavaScript uh, uh, JavaScript sign R here, so that they can be called uh, further. So this is the, this is how you clear your hub. So this is our chat hub. Uh, class that we have here. Uh, be careful with the casing. Uh, JavaScript uh, use uh, camel case. So uh, this is how you would do that. So basically, uh, the visitor HTML page is really simple. It's just an input uh, field with a, a button and a uh, a list of chat message. I, I just want to test if uh, if this thing is going to work or not. And someone click that that button. So I just call the send method uh, from the chat uh, chat hub that we saw earlier. So this is going to post the message back to the the caller and the uh, the agent who, who took the call. This is. A callback function that is called when the visitor add a new line or when the agent post um, a message. So we are just adding a a list item to to the uh, the URL that you you saw, and this is the this is the the line where the visitor uh, start. So if it's uh, successful, we are calling the request chat method. So once uh, this page is open, the hub is start, and uh, a new a new re request will appear uh, on the uh, the agent page. And speaking of the agent page, here it is, including the jQuery and jQuery signaler. The way I would like to craft the interface, I a div chat request where uh, all new all new requests will come to a single page and the agent would be able to accept them and w once he accept a new chat you know some couple of uh, smallish uh, div inside that huge div which would represent a chat session so instead of having multiple pop-up window or anything that will all be managed from one pages. The the current re request ID, which was given uh, automatically by the uh, request a new chat from the visitor, and and it just bring an, the new div that I that I saw uh, right into that thing. So once the operator accept this chat, it will have some div representing a chat session with the with the visitor. Post a new message. Uh, it's just a matter of getting the chat ID, uh, which is basically just the, uh, the, the connection ID of the, of the visitor, and it posts is, uh, it posts that messages. And you know when, when new, uh, when new messages arrive, this is the same uh, metal name that the visitor, but this time uh, it will show in the right div because we have this, uh, we pass this uh, chat ID. Uh, and since the uh, the div is, is named properly, uh, the right you know the right message will go to the right place. This is the uh, the agent connect uh, method without any password and with my own name. So not much of a working ready uh, prototype, but it's it's really uh, it's really bearable. And I seriously think that uh, this should this should uh, this should work. All right, let's try it out. And I will not lie to you. I have tested tested this uh, a couple of times. <laughs> All right, so let's just pretend that we are going to log in as as an operator. Uh, I will now open another browser, 
and pretend that we are a visitor that that would have click on uh, chat now button so once this page would open uh, the operator receives the the chat request and if he accept this uh, here is the there is the chat box for that for that uh, communication so we we can see that both of this visitor and the operator can uh, can chat I would I will give you that this is probably not the best uh, uh, the best looking app that uh, you have saw uh, lately but you know it, it's it kind of just a, a prototype so let's suppose that we are uh, another another visitor so here is the the thing and if if I accept that it open another uh, chat box and you know uh, this uh, this visitor and and this operator now have their their own uh, their own place to uh, to speak without the uh, the other one uh, seeing anything. If I go to my uh, Google Chrome, it's it's it stay where where the uh, the conversation uh, was. So again, this is the first episode. This is the first prototype, and it is uh, really cool. I I must say. There, there's no, uh, there's no database uh, involved here, and so far, so far so good. I hope you enjoy uh, this, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode.